All right, so Tyler, what game are we playing? We're gonna start with the Mummy Returns. Ooh, the Mummy Returns. Um, with I didn't. I didn't. Brendan Fraser or Tom Cruise? I I think it's Brendan Fraser. Ooh. Oh, can you play as the mummy? Yeah, I'm, I can be Imhotep. All right. Is that Imhotep? It looks... Oh, it's man. legally distinct Imhotep. Or are known as the Scorpion King, led a great army... Oh, yeah, this is the one that had the Scorpion King. <gasps> the Rock? The one who... The one that launched The Rock's yeah. illustrious movie career? This is and it. And he is now the best, biggest action star in the whole world, thanks to this. What, wait, when did this come out? Like 1999 or something? Okay, 2001. 2001. May 4th. That was the day before my birthday. Oh, what a little birthday present to Will on his <laughs> fifth birthday. Went to go see Mummy Returns. In and the theaters. Like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I thought he was a wrestler, not an actor. Okay, the, this, uh, I the intro is just still going. It's like, it's longer than the Star Wars opening crawl. Like, did you skip I it? I skipped it. Okay. Rise up. Just Rock. hop right into it. We're already at the point where they're releasing the mummy. Ah, oh, you carry a heavy curse with you, my lord. The pharaoh and Is the she talking? gods are not pleased. We need to cast the most powerful oh. spell to get rid of Brendan Fraser and replace him with a much younger, hotter Tom Cruise. Is that a dolphin? <laughs> And the penguin Egyptian god. And the... what is that? I know it's supposed to be a snake, but it looks... Is it? That's still going. Like, this, I still haven't had a chance to do anything. How old is Tom Cruise and how old is Brendan Fraser? How old is Brendan Fraser? Can't help noticing that you say Brendan Fraser. Isn't it Fraser? He's 50. How old is Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is 56. That's crazy. You look at Brendan Fraser now. Yeah, Brendan Fraser. And down goes Fraser. Oh, I should have saved that for when Brendan Fraser shows up. I don't know if we'll get that far. All right, so I'm supposed to, like, life suck these guys? Um, it was one of the, uh... Oh, soul? Do you think the uh, confidence in the people releasing Emotep from his eternal tomb, is their confidence is starting to wane now <laughs> that he's just like, all right. Oh, I um, just... I. You How do I do this? Do I, it's, you know, you've been, I've been entombed for thousands of years. Well, I've been, been entombed for like two years since the last movie. I, you know, you gotta kind of stretch your arms and stretch your legs. And it was one of the shoulder buttons. Ow! Oh, oh, he's so powerful. The way he just okay. slapped that dude in the face. There. Not gonna lie, that's kind of impressive. Ooh. And now look, I'm getting bet my my skin is clearing up. Door. Oh, wait, is there a door button? Am I steal a soul from the door? You have released me from my tomb. Now to rain down a thousand years of hell. The door is locked. <laughs> Dang it. Maybe we can we find like a fire escape. Maybe a window is open. Oh, Lanterns. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, how you doing? Uh, soul. Soul. Come on, soul me, bro. Oh, hey, they left a door open for you. I don't know about you. I see, um, Emotep, you know, mummified dude walking around. I'm not going to run up and get in a and fist fight punching. with him. You're not going to start punching the, the, the mummy? Oh, my mummy did. <laughs> what? You just floated away. Yeah, well, my soul went away. It's that like Crash Bandicoot. What's Brendan Fraser doing right now? That's what I want to know. New game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rick O'Connell. Oh, boy. Are we going to go through this whole thing again? Is the start of the game going to be essentially the same? They release Brendan Fraser from a tomb. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My career! I'm resurrected! Uh, tell me, Sweet Pea, if this ancient oh. temple has been sealed off from the world for a thousand yeah. years or so... Is so he trying I'm, to do Brendan Fraser? I'm it Brendan Fraser. Oh, Mom, I'm always careful. Whoa! Look at this. Look at Oof. that ankle. Like, that's Dude. just not good. They're very generous with the ledge. Yeah. The ledge extends, like... Three feet outward before you actually yeah. drop. I wonder why this game wasn't such a big hit. Look at that. Oh. 
Okay, so in a normal, like if this was Tomb Raider, I would be jumping from thing to thing. Mm -hmm. This is more of just running and then sliding across them. How did she get over here already? What are you? Are you? What are you shooting? Like paintballs at these people? Oh, there was a staircase over here. Maybe that's what. What's her name? <laughs> So you're just like hopping down, platforming, and she's like, what the hell are you doing? There's, there's a, a staircase there's an right here. Right over here is an elevator. There's... The end of the game is right here. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, bye. That... <laughs> yeah. What the? Oh, shucks. Remember how in the first Mummy movie, they realize that Emotep is scared of cats, and he runs away? And then they never and use that And then they just yet. drop that. They never use that again, like... Like, I'd have like everybody. Okay, here's your cat. Here's my cat. I don't even like cats, but I'm just. We're all gonna have cats. Now. Strap a couple cats on my back. Oh hey, the store's open for no reason. She's already moved on. <laughs> oh hi, uh, this is my new husband. And our new she's not even gonna say hi to me. She, <laughs> man, she's cold. All right, what are we doing? Like, I don't know what we're doing. What are you, the director of The Mummy Returns, Tyler? <laughs> I don't know where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Um, if you want to, if you want to try it, I don't. Ah, sure. Is that? Is it just float? What is going? It's okay. a torch. All right. This is very safe. I'm holding Wait. dynamite and a torch right next to each other. Are you able to? If you see, there's a glowing thing in there. It's dynamite. But can you get? Ah! <laughs> see, I told you. I was gonna. I was trying to tell you. Throw the dynamite. The controls are really bad in this. And down goes Fraser. Ooh, the NRA game. NRA, gun Club. NRA Gun Club. What were they, what, why did they make this game, Tyler? Um, education? Like to... Oh, teach about gun safety. Yeah. I think this was 2001. Or 2006. Mm. So what are you, you haven't played this before, right? I did actually play it to test it out. Okay. What are we expecting? You're going to be going and finding all the the libtards that don't want guns and showing them. Plinking? Okay. Plinking course. Okay. So it makes... Is that really what it's called? Plinking? I thought that was like a big old craze where you go to like someplace tall and then you're plinking. Oh, okay. I'm plinking, Tyler. Man, I hope that's... Oh, oh. Libtar's fine. Because then it's not offensive. Libtar strong! <laughs> All right, so we Ooh, got... I like that USFA, the little revolver. So wait, this... Well, there's a rimfire. I don't want to know what a rimfire is. These... these this is a... This is a very dirty game. I, I... I feel like these are all... A lot of these are... They got the Beretta rights. Because you need to have, like, copyright. You know, you can't have guns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Like, it feels like they got the Beretta name. But copyright. none of the other ones. Okay, here's something I don't like in games. I don't know which one I'm selecting of these two things. Is it the bright oh. yellow one or the dark yellow one? Also, Marksman is still high lit. Yeah. Is it high lit? That sounded Highlighted. weird. Highlighted. We're not even going to get to the actual game. No, we're not. We're just going to critique the menu, the guns. <laughs> I mean, uh, this whole thing looks the, like their website, I mean, right? The, they didn't even make the holes in the bees. They just shot into a couple <laughs> into the bee a couple times. You know, high marks for accuracy, but always keep gun pointed in a safe direction. They are educating. Press X to start. Libtar ready. Libtar shoot good. Okay. Try uh, right bumper. Oh, there you there go. go. Ooh. That was a f miss. Is this a shotgun? No, I, it, no, it's like a two-barrel. I know. I, I, yeah, it looks like how you would load a shotgun, but I think it's a. I'm pretty sure it's a shotgun. Uh, gun hey, a heart, good. because we're recording this close to Valentine's Day. Yeah. Don't go shooting my heart. Do we have the rights to that? I think it was legally distinct enough <laughs> because of my singing ability. True. Lip this... our love. Guns. Tyler, turn around and point the gun in an unsafe direction. I you cannot! cannot! I am not allowed to, <laughs> to point in an unsafe direction. All right. What, are there other modes I can do? Okay, what's a minigame? Minigame? Darts? Bowling! 
Tyler, what's what's the best gun in the world? The one that shoots you. Man, the one that kills you. I was hoping we were going to have a little bit or something. Yeah. Okay, take two. Tyler, what's the best gun in the world? Your face. Wrong! <laughs> it's the RPG. Rocket propelled grenade? No, it's actually RPG stands for rocket propelled gun. It shoots a whole gun oh, out of the... Like, like, like maybe you're in a combat situation, and like you're over there behind those barrels, I'm over here, and I like I run out of ammo, and I'm like, Will, toss me a gun! And then... You know, those, all those scenes in the movie where they run out of ammo, mm-hmm. so then they just throw the gun at the dude? Oh, yeah. How much better would it be if you had a whole other gun to shoot your empty gun? I, you okay. whoa! That was a good shot, Tyler. I feel like I win the game if I could shoot through the cans. <laughs> this is not bowling at all, by the way. What? I, th- 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 I went to the bowling alley and I did the wrong thing. The NRA <laughs> is encouraging you to go to your bowling alley. It, yeah. Bring your shotgun and st- you heard oh, it here. Can first. you imagine if I could do this with a shotgun? I'm have to do this with a crappy pistol. What if there was a bowling variant of using a shotgun but with bowling balls? So you throw one bowling ball, but then it all scatters off into small bowling balls. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. All right, stop the video. We're going to go make that. Shut down the whole YouTube thing. We're all making right. we're making shotgun bowling. And we're back. <laughs> and it, it did was, not it work. It was bad. We are on the run. Um, whew, the mafia. Uh, the NRA. The, uh, what's the Irish? Uh, Libtards. Oh, and the, yeah. Everybody's mad at us. Okay, we're done with yeah, this one. Yeah, that was bad. Biker mice? Biker mice? From Mars. A battle wages on between the race of mice and the invading Catatonian Empire. Catatonian. Known as the Martian Freedom Fighters. Cat, protect their cats homeland. and mice. Ma- While the Catatonians cats and, wish cat to take mouse. the planet for themselves. That's what they There is one powerful device that can ensure victory for either side. The Regenerator. In the hands of the Freedom Fighters, the Regenerator could terraform Mars, creating a safe haven for all mice. The Catatonians could use it to claim the planet for themselves. A general of the Martian Freedom Force, Stoker, is the only one who knows how to build the Regenerator. Stoker has gone to Earth in search of molecules vital to the device's construction. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. They lost mm-hmm. contact with Stoker, another general of the Force, Carbine. Sent a special commando team to Earth to invest. I cannot. I cannot <laughs> follow us, this. You're giving us way too much information. This is. <laughs> and then Kevin <laughs> from Venus. He sent his. Oh man, you don't even want to know about the Saturn birds. The, the Venus Dogtonians <laughs> show up, and then then the Moon <laughs> Raccoon. <laughs> the Moon Raccoons Look, I, show up. They just keep introducing new characters. I thought it was going to be like a secret thing that they came to Earth, but yeah, no, they're just a the full is... landing force showed up on Earth. Bi- Catatonians. Bipedal cats. Is that a human? Of Stoker. Rump owns the only regenerator. Oh. Is he Rump? Oh, oh it's Rump! <laughs> oh my god! How politically relevant. Oh man, this is this is a like connected episode here. <laughs> This episode has everything. It's got Brendan Fraser, the yeah. NRA. It's got President Rump. President Rump. Biker mice from Mars. Catatonians. I would like to see how President Trump would react to bikers from Mars. Talk about illegal aliens. Am I right? <laughs> okay, this this game is just should just be called Saving. Do you want to watch the credits? Yeah, sure. Ha <laughs> ha I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Call my bluff. All right, new game. Again, checking for the memory card. All right, here we well, go. This is taking a while. All We're right. almost there. Okay. Everything we do is checking memory card. Do you wish to overwrite your what? I have no. I haven't written anything. This this game had so much promise. All right, and that's gonna do it. We ran out of time, guys. <laughs> Missions. Oh, okay. we're gonna have to call it right we got there. Vinny, Vinny the bike. The... Ah, we'll continue this on I, next episode. No, I'm, no, I'm looking at this. I, hang on, I just gotta save my game. <laughs> and that's okay. it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. President Rump in the White House. This game of Catatonian and Mouse. 
deporting these aliens. Like they're actual like, like space, space aliens, aliens though. Martians. Got bombs like the IRA. Cars gone like a GTA. Drop a bars like NWA. Taking shots like the NRA. Worse than the mummy 2017. Beat on more than Joe Frazier. There's a mummy reboot. And down goes Fraser.